Hey, what's up guys, Sean Nalawani here, SeanNal.com, BodyTransformationTruth.com, with a bit of a different video for you today. I just got back from the grocery store, about to head over to the gym here, but I was standing there and had this big pile of groceries and thought, why don't I just grab the camera and show you guys what I eat throughout a typical day right now. I'm actually just finishing up a 10 week cutting phase. I've dropped about 15 pounds over that time. I wasn't actually intending to lose that much initially. Uh, my original plan was maybe to go about eight pounds or so down, but as I got leaner and leaner, I decided it might be a good idea to just take it a bit further and get some professional pictures done for my website when I am fairly lean. That's something that I've never done before. That's going to be on Tuesday, so I'm starting a, a water cut tomorrow for the next three days just to really dry out before those photos. Uh, but I thought I would show you what I've been eating over the last 10 weeks in order to drop that initial 15 pounds. So this isn't going to be like a regular full day of eating type of video. I'm just going to separate it into different categories. So I'll show you uh, protein, carbs, and fats, as well as a few just sort of miscellaneous items that I have throughout the day, just to give you some extra ideas and to show you what I've been doing. So here it is. So starting with protein sources and just going from left to right, kind of in the order that I have them throughout the day, I always start my day off with a shake because I'm generally just not that hungry in the morning and I wanna get out the door and get to the gym as efficiently as I can. So right now I'm using Cellucor Core Performance Whey as my protein powder. This is the chocolate flavor. Uh, it tastes really good, it mixes well. It's a blend of isolate and concentrate. It's not amino spiked, which is really important as I've talked about before. So a very high quality product that I'm happy with. I also use Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Way and Dimatize Elite Way, uh, but just using the Cellucor brand at the moment. Uh, after that is eggs and egg whites. Egg whites are awesome because they're basically just pure protein and it's a really good way to add more volume to your meal. So after the gym, I'll come back and have uh, one or two whole eggs mixed with usually about 100 to 150 grams of egg whites. And again, adding the egg whites just helps you make a bigger portion size overall without really bumping the calories up too high. Uh, shrimp is not as common as sort of a uh, standard bodybuilding protein source, but I really like it. I have this for lunch. And then for dinner is extra lean ground turkey, which is high in protein, moderate fat, and basically zero carbs. And then late at night for a snack is low fat Greek yogurt, or actually this one's non fat Greek yogurt. Uh, depending on the brand that you get, you'll get different macros. This one is 17 grams of protein and six grams of carbs for 175 gram serving. And then this one here I don't usually have, but for the next three days, I'm gonna be cutting my carbs quite a bit and upping the protein as a way to sort of shed water for the photos that I'm getting done. So I'll be having low fat cottage cheese with canned salmon mixed in and just put a bit of salt and pepper on top. So these are just the protein sources that I personally have at the moment. There's plenty of other high quality options out there. Uh, lean beef, chicken, other types of fish and seafood, lean pork. These are just my personal preferences right now. So next, moving on to carb sources, frozen mixed berries and oats, which I have with my protein shake in the morning. Uh, bagels, obsessed with bagels, love bagels, can't get enough bagels have this for lunch and I also have it later in the day as well. Regular soft berries, uh, blueberries and strawberries, I'll usually mix that into my Greek yogurt or just have it separately as a snack. Uh, another thing that I snack on as well are uh, rice cakes. This is the tomato basil flavor. Uh, another regular sort of fitness staple, basmati rice. That's what I have for lunch with my shrimp. And then for dinner with my ground turkey is just a big assortment of different vegetables. So we've got lettuce, onions, mushrooms, uh, red peppers, corn, and asparagus. And then of course, lastly is my secret weapon, which is Lucky Charms. The best breakfast cereal in existence. I've been told that they're discontinuing it. I hope that's not true. I'll be pretty depressed if it is. Uh, but I have that at the end of the day with my Greek yogurt and just fit it into my overall diet as a whole. So again, these are just my carb sources of choice. There's a lot of other options out there. Uh, basically any type of fruit, any vegetable, potatoes, yams, quinoa, pasta, pita. Uh, these are just the carb sources that I'm basing my diet around at the moment. 
Now when I'm cutting, I don't usually have to go out of my way to specifically add in extra fat sources because my calories are lower, my fat intake's lower, so I'm gonna get enough just from the regular protein and carb sources that I eat, but I do make sure to supplement with fish oil every day, about three to four grams. This is the Citadel Nutrition brand. Uh, just make sure if you're supplementing with fish oil that it is ideally in the natural triglyceride form, which this one is. And then if I do wanna add a specific healthy fat source, I'll just go with some natural peanut butter. Now make sure that if you're consuming peanut butter on a cut, or any time for that matter, that you are measuring it out properly because peanut butter is incredibly calorie dense. There's 100 calories in a tablespoon, and what most people think is a tablespoon is actually quite a bit more than what an actual tablespoon is. So ideally, you should use a food scale. One tablespoon is 15 grams. Uh, just something to be aware of because it's a really easy way to accidentally go quite a bit over your calories for the day if you are eating peanut butter on a frequent basis. So I just thought I'd finish off here with a few sort of miscellaneous items just to give you guys some extra ideas and to show you some other things that I eat throughout the day. This is fat-free craft Italian dressing. Tastes really good and it's only five calories per tablespoon. So I use that on like my salads or my vegetables and you can use it pretty liberally without going overboard on calories. A lot of you probably know about Walden Farms. These are my two favorite products of theirs. Uh, the pancake syrup, which just tastes awesome. Really good on pretty much anything. And then this is their chipotle ranch sauce, which I put on my ground turkey, sometimes on my eggs. And again, both of these products are zero calorie. I don't usually use the ranch sauce if I am eating at maintenance or bulking because then I'll just use something normal with more calories that tastes a bit better. But for a cutting phase, this is a really good option. Uh, low calorie strawberry jam. This one is six grams of carbs for a tablespoon and I usually put that on my bagels. Uh, low sodium soy sauce, another good way to flavor your foods while keeping the calories low. And then one of my absolute favorites when I'm cutting, which a lot of people don't think about, but that is tzatziki sauce because it's basically just yogurt with cucumber and uh, spices mixed in. You'll get different macros, again, depending on which brand you use, but this one here is about 20 calories per tablespoon, and I use that with my shrimp and rice. Fat-free cheese is another thing that I use here and there. Uh, five grams of protein, two carbs, and zero fat per slice, and I usually will just put that on my eggs. I should also point out, guys, that the foods you just saw there are the foods that my diet is primarily based around, but it's obviously not all that I eat. If you follow my content, then you know that I'm a huge proponent of flexible dieting, and this 10-week cutting phase also included weekly refeed days, where I ate all kinds of food, including burgers and pizza and ice cream. I also aim to fit in flexible foods here and there whenever I can. And I'm human just like anybody else, so I do slip up from time to time. This cutting phase also included a trip to my grandparents' place out of town, where I probably ate about 6,000 of my grandma's oatmeal cookies. Just remember that when it comes to fat loss or gaining muscle, it's really all about what you do over the big picture as a whole. Unless you're preparing for a body building show or some other event where you have to be in a very specific shape by a specific time. Just focus on the big picture and don't worry too much uh, if you do slip up over the short term. Proper nutrition is all about the long term. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And you can also check out my official blog over at seannell.com. Talk to you again soon.